everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this terrific little three pocket scissor holder. This is a super simple project to make. In fact, the magic is in the folding on this little project. It is so, so easy. I am going to show you step by step how to make this terrific little project that I store uh, scissors. I have so many scissors, uh, it's just ridiculous how many scissors I have. Um, but I store them in here, some of them anyway, um, in my little scissors holder. But I'm going to show you how I made this, and it's very, very easy. I hope you enjoy this project today, and if you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and uh, so you can get more sewing and crafting uh, tutorials in your inbox. And uh, if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials that you don't find here on the YouTube channel, head over to www.soverycrafty.com uh, and find more sewing and crafting projects that are more of the intermediate level. This is a beginner sewing project that anybody with beginner sewing skills can make. So let's get started on how to make this project. The first thing we're going to need is this pattern and I'll put a link to the pattern in the description section of the video where it says see more. It comes in two pieces that so you'll have to tape them together but this is the pattern. All you need to do is cut out two pieces of fabric and you can use the same fabric or you can use contrasting fabric. It's up to you. You're also going to need a piece of fusible fleece for this uh, project for a little bit of structure and a little padding for your uh, scissors. And that's all you need to make this terrific little three pocket scissor holder. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut out two pieces of fabric. And I have loads of this sort of Valentine's -y, um heart and roses fabric that I bought during Valentine's sale and I just love it. I've made all kinds of stuff with it. So I'm going to make another scissor, three pocket scissor holder with this fabric. So I've cut out two pieces of this fabric and I've gone ahead and I fused my fleece to one wrong side of, my, uh, of one of the pieces of my scissor holder. And so you didn't have to see that on camera. So if you're going to use fusible fleece, just follow the manufacturer's instructions. Use a hot iron and that will fuse nicely onto your pattern piece. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a little holder uh, tab for our project. And I'm just going to cut from my scraps here a two inch by, let's say this is a scrap, so four inch or so tab piece so that we can hang up our scissor holder if we want to. We're simply going to fold the raw edges of this into the center, fold it in half, and then we're going to stitch on both sides of the long edges here. And I'll be right back to show you what that looks like. Now, I'm, I have created my little tab piece, and I'm just going to fold it in half, and I'm going to place it right on the 
circle or arced part of my pattern piece here and I'm just going to place a clip to hold that in place. Then I'm going to place my pattern pieces right sides together so that they are the same. And I'm just going to put a few clips. If you're a more advanced sewist, you don't need to use clips for this. You can just stitch it together. We're going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance for this project. And we're going to stitch all the way around our project, but we're going to leave a little bit of an opening here at the bottom so that we can turn this right sides out. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's stitch all the way around our project so that we can then turn it right sides out and get onto our folding, which is the key part of this project. Now I have stitched both of these pieces together and I'm just going to clip these corners making sure that my scissors don't go through the stitching. And I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to turn this right sides out. Now we can see our little tab is there if we want to hang up our scissor holder. Now I'm just going to run over to the iron I'm going to press this and then I'm going to top stitch all the way around this project using a 1 8 inch seam allowance. I'm not going to show this on the video because these are just straight stitches and you can just stitch all the way around using your 1 8 inch seam allowance. I'll be right back. Now I have top stitched this all the way around and now the magic happens. We are going to start to fold this project. We're going to take the side where the curved edge is and we're going to fold this up so that the corner meets the side and then we're going to fold it back on itself. We are then going to open the fold up and place it face down. We're going to then Fold the opposite side and back in on itself in the same way. And then fold the first two folds back on it where they were. And now you can see we've got three pockets. Let me show you how to do that again because I know it's a little confusing. We're going to place the curved edge in front of us, fold the short end to the side, fold it back on itself, open it up, fold the main side over to the corner.
open itself up. And then fold this back. And I'm just going to place some clips on my scissor holder here to hold these in place. And now you can see we've got our three pockets. But we've got this kind of pointy end down here. What I did on the original uh, prototype version is I just sort of um, folded under this bottom edge to make it flat. But it's completely up to you. You can leave this pointed if you like and just have a pointy edge and I think I might do that for this one or you can make it a flat edge like I did on the prototype um, which is like I said completely up to you how you want to do it um, then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to stitch all of these layers together over at the sewing machine. And we're going to stitch all along both sides of our scissor holder and we will be finished. So let's head over to the sewing machine and let's stitch along the sides of our scissor holder so that we can finish up this project. Here we are at the sewing machine, and I want to make sure that I'm stitching through all of the layers of my three pocket scissor holder. So I'm going to use my one quarter inch seam And stitch all the way down. There it is. All we have to do is clip off the excess thread. So there's our three pocket scissor holder. We can put our scissors. These are big scissors. Medium scissors. Small scissors. And they all fit snugly into our three pocket scissor holder. So I hope you enjoyed this super simple beginner three pocket scissor holder project today. I know the devil is in the details here in the folding. I hope I was clear enough on that. And the pattern is free as all the patterns are here on So Very Crafty. But um, if you enjoyed this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, 
ding that bell for notifications for future sewing and crafting tutorials uh, in your inbox from the YouTube channel. And if you want more, maybe a little more complicated projects, head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com and you will find loads and loads more uh, tutorials there that will get your sewing juices running uh, for more complicated projects. If you're just a beginner, it will definitely whet your appetite for more. So that's all there is for today. Um, I will see you guys next time here at So Very Crafty for our next video. Um, not sure what that's going to be yet, but we'll figure it out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.